On this super quick Ableton tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use audio units in Ableton. This is super easy to do. So I'm using a Mac right now. The first thing you're going to do, and this is a big one, make sure your audio units are in the right location. If they're not, Ableton will not find them. To do so, I'm going to go to Finder. Make sure I'm going to go up here to Preferences. Make sure this is checked. It just makes it a little bit easier to find uh, the location. I'm going to go down here. Go to my hard drive, library, audio, plugins, and then components. Components and audio units, kind of tomato, tomato. And as you can see, these are all the components or the audio units that I want to use. Next, I'm going to go to Ableton. When I pull this up, I'll do this, I guess. I'm going to go to live and then preferences. And then I'm going to go down to plugins. Once I go here, I'm going to go to use audio units and click on. Now it's gonna take usually a second once you click it for them to be found and for Ableton to kind of scan all of them. I'm gonna close this out. I'm gonna go down to plugins. Now, as you can see, I have VST and audio units. I can click this. They're organized by the company itself. I can pull one up, whatever I want. Let's do, I don't know, there's a bunch of them here. I'll just do abstract Vox, pull this up, good to go.